Super Tuesday is two weeks away, and the Republican race is still a two-person fight. Former President Donald Trump is in South Carolina for his Fox News town hall tonight. And former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is right down the road telling voters and the media she is not backing down. Fox's Chelsea Torres joins us live from Greenville, South Carolina tonight, where both candidates are competing for votes. But Chelsea, Donald Trump has a pretty big lead here. Yeah, John, he definitely does. And, you know, John, Christina Nikki Haley is facing these rumors that she's dropping out of the presidential race because of that lead that Trump has been having in so many different states. But she says she's not afraid and not quitting. She actually says that only three states have really voted, and so dropping out would just be the easy way out. Haley says Trump's legal problems are damaging his chances and says most Americans do not want Trump or Biden because of their age. That's why I refuse to quit. South Carolina will vote on Saturday, but on Sunday, I'll still be running for president. I'm not going anywhere. Early this morning, former President Trump's campaign released a memo which claims the end is near for Nikki Haley. It says Trump will win the Republican nomination by mid-March and Haley is not relevant. Dozens of Trump supporters waited for the former president at his town hall. They say the former South Carolina governor doesn't have a chance and at least for the moment, the polls agree. One recent poll in South Carolina has Trump up 63 percent over Haley at 35 percent. Now, Trump's campaign says that right now they're solely focused on just the general election. Meanwhile, Haley has said beginning on Sunday, she will start traveling to eight different states to talk to voters ahead of Super Tuesday. In Greenville, South Carolina, Chelsea Torres, Fox 10 News. Chelsea, thanks.